Cisco Ice, Meraki MX with an MR, 802.1X, and Group Policy. All right, so we already have an SSID called 802.1X. We're going to leverage Enterprise uh, with My Radius. There'll be no splash, splash page. The radius server is going to have the external IP address because in this case, in this scenario, we're using um, the Meraki dashboard. Um, what I found though was COA is not enabled, not needed necessarily here, um, but change of authorization doesn't work with uh, radius proxy. So you'll have to put in your specific APs. Um, here, we're also going to do uh, NAT mode. The other thing we're going to have to do, because we're using the Meraki dashboard, we're going to have to go into the firewall and make sure that we have a policy in place to allow access um, to ICE, right? Uh, so UDP port 1812 and 1813 for authentication and uh, accounting. So how do you figure out the IP that's coming inbound? Well, the easiest way I found was um, you can just go in and grab the, um, the the URL that's there, the N77, um, do an NS lookup, and that's the dashboard IP address that's coming from. I've jumped to group policy here, and we're going to build a couple of group policies. One is HR policy, where we're going to block ICMP to 8.8.8.8, .8 and the other will be a sales policy where we block uh, ICMP to 1.1.1.1. So pretty simple, we've got a couple policies built here and we're gonna use ICE um, once it authenticates the user to actually push down or reference that airspace ACL, right? That's the attribute we're gonna use. But before then, or before that, we're gonna go into uh, network access devices. We're gonna make sure that we have Meraki dashboard uh, allowed to uh, leverage ICE. Right, we've got that firewall policy in place now. Um, now we also have the NAD, network access device added for Meraki. Then we're gonna go to authorization profiles. In authorization profiles, we've got two already pre-configured um, profiles. So HR block, um, very simple. All I've done is created a airspace ACL name um, and I've referenced the name, HR policy. And so when that is, uh, when I log in using 802.1x as the HR user, um, I, and I'm successful, it's gonna push or reference, I shouldn't say push, reference the Meraki group policy, um, HR dash policy. And there's the sales one there. And I gave it a descriptive name so I can remember what I'm trying to block here. Go to policy sets. We're using the default policy set. Authentication. We've got a couple of elements here with bad authentications. We've got dot uh, .1x, the one that we're focused on. It's going to leverage Active Directory. Authorization profile or policy here. So when we go down to the specifics around HR, we can see that we're looking for 802.1x and the user has to be from HR and then we're going to have that authorization profile pushed, which is that HR block um, group policy. And same thing with sales. We, we associate the sales authorization uh, profile um, to that policy. All right, we'll go to live logs and radius. Nothing happening yet, so let's just log in here. So we'll log in as sales one, give that password in there. And we're connected, so that looks good. Let's see if we can ping 1.1.1 and destination net unreachable. And let's ping 8.8.8. .8 .8. Now remember, we're coming from the sales policy here, right? And you can see I've got some latency. I'm on a satellite uplink uh, currently, um, but uh, but you can see it works. So pretty cool, right? It looks like it works. Do another test to 8.8.8. .8 .8. Um, you can see that it was successful. Latency pretty bad though. 
and just refreshing this to make sure that's still staying there. Okay, so that, that's good, right? So we've got this, um, and what we're doing here is we're looking at clients on Meraki uh, dashboard, and we can see that that sales policy uh, was referenced. And we did the HR but sales, and here we're gonna validate that on ICE that we actually got the right policy. And look at that, we did. And look at all the details captured here. And you can see here, there's the airspace ACL name. Okay, now we proved it out anyway because we did the test. Now let's just quickly do um, the HR user here. Now this should have uh, the opposite, right? Um, where if I'm correct, 8.8.8.8 um, will be blocked and uh, going to 1.1.1 um, should be successful. And you can see it's blocked here. And you can see that wonderful latency there, 669 milliseconds. But it was successful. Okay, good. So let's just check this. And this time, let's just look at each our policy. We can see we've got this one desktop connected. We'll quickly look at the details of the authentication for that user. It looks pretty good there. Um, we can see that it did have that authorization uh, result of HR block ICMP 8.8.8.8. Um, again, all kinds of great details, but I'm really interested in the airspace ACL. And we can see that that's been applied as expected. So pretty cool. Um, again, using uh, Meraki, but the MR um, hanging off the Meraki MX. Using ICE to authenticate, as well as enforcing our will on the endpoint using group policy.